It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. Don't be afraid of enemies who attack you. Be afraid of the friends who flatter you. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Any fool can criticize, complain, and condemn, and most fools do. But it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but with creatures bristling with prejudice and motivated by pride and vanity. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is wanting what you get. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us, power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Remember, today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Talk to someone about themselves and they'll listen for hours. If you are not in the process of becoming the person you want to be, you are automatically engaged in becoming the person you don't want to be. Be wiser than other people if you can, but do not tell them so. Actions speak louder than words, and a smile says, I like you. You make me happy. I am glad to see you. Even God doesn't propose to judge a man till his last days. Why should you and I? Knowledge isn't power until it is applied. Our thoughts make us what we are. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about. The best possible way to prepare for tomorrow is to concentrate with all your intelligence, all your enthusiasm, on doing today's work superbly today. That is the only possible way you can prepare for the future. When dealing with people, let us remember we are not dealing with creatures of logic. We are dealing with creatures of emotion, 
creatures bristling with prejudices and motivated by pride and vanity. Personally I am very fond of strawberries and cream, but I have found that for some strange reason, fish prefer worms. So when I went fishing, I didn't think about what I wanted. I thought about what they wanted. I didn't bait the hook with strawberries and cream. Rather, I dangled a worm or grasshopper in front of the fish and said, Wouldn't you like to have that? Why not use the same common sense when fishing for people? No matter what happens, always be yourself. Nothing can bring you peace but yourself. Two men looked out from prison bars. One saw the mud, the other saw stars. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there and worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the loss of sleep. Be more concerned with your character than with your reputation, for your character is what you are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are. One reason why birds and horses are not unhappy is because they are not trying to impress other birds and horses. You can't win an argument. You can't because if you lose it, you lose it, and if you win it, you lose it. A man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. To be interesting, be interested. One of the tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. Names are the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Remember, happiness doesn't depend upon who you are or what you have. It depends solely upon what you think. Let's not allow ourselves to be upset by small things we should despise and forget. Remember life is too short to be little. I have come to the conclusion that there is only one way under high heaven to get the best of an argument and that is to avoid it. Avoid it as you would avoid rattlesnakes and earthquakes. All men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes to death, but always to victory. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. Today is our most precious possession. It is our only sure possession. Always have something to say. The man who has something to say and who is known never to speak unless he has is sure to be listened to. Instead of condemning people, let's try to understand them. Let's try to figure out why they do what they do. That's a lot more profitable and intriguing than criticism, and it breeds sympathy 
tolerance, and kindness. To know all is to forgive all. Why talk about what we want? That is childish. Absurd. Of course, you are interested in what you want. You are eternally interested in it. But no one else is. The rest of us are just like you. We are interested in what we want.